Hey guys, it's Tony from PressureWasher.com and today we're going to be looking at ways to troubleshoot your engine not starting now that you're pulling it out for the first time this season. When it comes to starting any gas motor, there are three things that you need to look for. The first thing is going to be air, the second is going to be fuel, and then the third is going to be spark. First things first, make sure that the power switch on your unit is on. This will allow the stator to send power to the spark plug. Super simple, sometimes people forget it, but make sure it's clicked on. Next, check your oil. A lot of these small engines do burn oil, and one of the things that you're gonna wanna make sure of is that there's enough oil in the motor, because if not, a lot of them have electronic shutoffs if the oil level is too low and it won't let your motor run. Next, you're gonna wanna find your air filter. Have a look at the filter. Make sure it's not covered in dust and dirt. If it is, get a new filter. After that, Pop the filter off and take a look down into the carburetor area and make sure there's nothing blocking any of the air getting in that way. If you need to, you can grab some carburetor cleaner or parts cleaner and spray it in there and make sure that everything in there is cleaned off. Next, make sure there's fuel in the fuel tank. If your fuel's been sitting over the winter, it can go bad. If you want to prevent this, you can use uh, fuel stabilizers or a lot of times people use higher octane fuel if they're gonna leave it for a few months or leave fuel inside. The easiest way to get bad fuel back is to just mix in some good high quality fuel. So go get some premium and mix it in with this older fuel. You kinda of wanna do like a four to one ratio. Just pour it in there and then shake everything and that will mix all of the gas. And you'll have the higher quality gas that will help burn off the older quality fuel. And if you're sure that there's fuel in the tank, make sure that your fuel is actually, the fuel line is actually open and delivering to the engine. Next, make sure that you have the choke closed when you're starting your engine first. And then once it gets going, you can click, the, you can move the choke back to being open and you're getting regular airflow. If you've been through all these simple steps and it's still not starting, you're gonna wanna inspect the spark plug. So first, you're gonna pull the spark plug wire off the top of the spark plug and have a look to make sure there's no, no damage in there. There's no corrosion on the spark plug. Then next, you're gonna to wanna to pull the spark plug out of the engine block. There are special spark plug sockets that have little rubber pieces inside that go around the porcelain end. Find the right one for yours and then pull the spark plug out. Once you do that, you can inspect the spark plug tip to make sure that the electrodes aren't completely burnt out or destroyed or gap together. It's not really the hugest issue that you're gonna run into in these small engines, but you will see um, sometimes oil burn, burned all over the end of the electrode. And they're cheap. If you want to, at the start of the season, you can just replace the spark plug. It's probably worth it every few years to do it. Spend a few dollars and put a brand new spark plug in there if you're gonna use it a lot during the season. This should cover most of the simple fixes that will help get your engine up and running now that the season has started. Remember, it's fuel, air, and spark. That's the basics of what make an engine run. And those are the first three things that you need to check. If there's something wrong with any one of those, the engine's not gonna wanna start. So start with the easy stuff and work your way up to the hardest, and you should be good to roll for this coming season.